This might be the future of joint replacements. No, not him. This, the white stuff between the two clamps. It's a brand new super material that won't tear when he, or her, or this guy, or even this guy, gives it all they've got. And that's why this stuff is so extraordinary. It combines the strength of metal with the flexibility of jello, and it could revolutionize how we grow old. Hydrogels are all around us, in soft contact lenses, disposable diapers, even food. Like tofu or jelly. There are natural hydrogels in our tissues and organs, and synthetic ones, like the kind made here. They're solid objects, but consist mostly of water. They're soft and flexible, but also incredibly weak. Until now. In Sapporo, yeah, that Sapporo, scientists have created a hydrogel that's five times stronger than steel. It's the strongest soft material ever be obtained by human beings. Professor Xiangping Gong is one of the world's top hydrogel experts. For this latest one, she and her team combined fiberglass fabric with a strong hydrogel. Sharp objects can cut through it, but it won't tear. Ripping this would require more energy than splitting steel. The invention of tough hydrogel changes all the opinions or the views against this material. The team believes this will revolutionize joint replacements. Synthetic hydrogels are similar to human tissue, both soft and flexible, which means they'd make great substitutes for ligaments or tendons. But until now, synthetic hydrogels have been too weak to withstand a joint's everyday wear and tear. Professor Gong's invention, though, changes that. With this fiber-reinforced hydrogel, surgeons could make strong artificial ligaments that would be closer to the real thing, a big improvement on how we do it today. For example, for the artificial knee, they use ceramics and plastics and metals. These hard materials is very stiff, so they do not have the shock-absorbing properties. But the professor's ideas don't always start in the lab. When I see a flower coming out from a very hard concrete crack, I was wondering why the small flower has such a big, a large energy to coming out. And that's the key to her success, finding and harnessing strength in the most unexpected of places.